The Galactica Transformation and Restoration Project is underway. Rosie the Riveter is now Six the Spackler, painting from a palette of thick, oily paste. Adama observes the application of the Cylon goo being smeared to the beams of his ship. Boomer proves that apparently you can go home again, somehow doing what the rest of Cavill's fleet could not, which is arriving right on Galactica's doorstep. The raptor hatch opens, all this has happened before, and Ellen makes her second grand entrance to the flight deck as an astonished crowd looks on. Till recognizes Boomer, who is sent off to the brig. Ellen, however, is merely debriefed by Rosalind and Adama and tells them about Cavill's plans to rebuild resurrection technology. Final Five Enlightenment apparently hasn't changed Ellen very much. She's still drinking and still horny. She and Ty are reunited and it feels so good. At the same time Ellen is sweeping drinking glasses from a table to make room for an impromptu frack, Caprica 6 doubles over, sending a bowl shattering to the floor. And what of Caprica's previous love, Baltar? His flock has learned to be independent in his absence. Sister Paula is packing a pistol. And while she's been away, she's assumed the role of alpha bitch. Head 6 notes that Paula isn't swallowing his shtick anymore. The people have been beaten down so long and they feel so betrayed by the government, they're bitter. Bitter doesn't begin to describe Ellen when she finds out Ty got Caprica 6 pregnant. The timing couldn't be worse because the five are voting whether to bail on the humans. Under their cockamamie voting procedure, the majority vote of three gets to decide everyone's fate. Tori and, for some reason, Tyrrell vote to bolt. Ty is a nay, and Anders' absentee ballot is marked against the motion, so Ellen is the swing vote. In a bid to regain clout with his followers, Baltar proclaims they will provide food to the needy civilians. Paula is skeptical, and indeed Baltar's food drive is interrupted by mean old bullies from the Sons of Ares who have bigger guns to go with their bluster. Drama queen Ellen has elevated her performance to Mommy Dearest level, icily revealing to Caprica her romp with Ty and making a veiled threat to Caprica and her baby. Bad Mommy. Adama finally tires of repeated visits to the stairwell to watch Goop dry and gets plastered himself with Ty. Ellen is already jealous of Caprica, but Ty's close relationship with Adama puts her over the edge and she announces her vote to leave. Caprica immediately begins having issues with the baby. Suddenly regretful, Ellen tells Ty to pronounce his love for Caprica. All you need is love. Love is all you need. The singing silence take up the chorus. He loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but apparently love isn't enough because baby Liam dies. Balthar convinces Adama about the need of power for the people, firepower, and being necessary for the security of a free state, a not-quite-regulated religious militia is formed. Heading back to the stairwell to get another high off that potent goop smell, Adama and Roslyn observe the Cylons adding photos to the memorial wall. They're actually using it as a Craigslist for Cylon singles, but the bottom line is the same. The integration of the fleet has already begun. Roll credits. I didn't even think about it. How in the hell did Boomer find the fleet? That's a good question. I didn't even think about that until you just said it, but I was like, yeah, wait a minute. That was pretty easy. <laughs>